This is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2023, and we are in the booth of Paxera Health with Larry Sitka. He is CSIO of Enterprise Imaging and AI at Paxera. Larry, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Greatly appreciate it. So, Larry, uh, you've been with Paxera for a, a little while now, and um, can you tell us a little bit about the company and, and, and what you do? So, my primary job is to focus on strategy, strategy inside existing applications such as Pax and VNA. And how, would he, how do we take those to the next step beyond their traditional use and their traditional use cases? So at Paxera, we've actually done AI-based integration into Pax and AI integration into VNA, leveraging those two existing applications either from us or from other third parties to actually drive those Pax solutions in a more efficient manner. So what are some of the issues that you, you're seeing in terms of the interface between Pax and AI? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that compatibility is going to be a big issue, right? Easy way to describe it, texting and driving. You can't text and drive. Why do we ask doctors to text and read? And that's what's happening. When, when with AI, everybody's creating their own widgets. So you have a widget that's over on the left panel. You have your packs on the, on the, the right panel. You start looking at the widget and you take your eyes off the image. When you take your eyes off the image, you break the synaptic pathway between your brain and that image. You can't do it and drive. So in other words, if you're driving and looking out the window and, and actually have to go over to a, an iPhone or to you know, a cell phone to actually look at the text message, you break the synaptic pathway and cause a crash. Mm. We're doing that to physicians. So simplistically put, stop texting and reading as you stop texting and driving. And that's what we've done. So we've brought AI into the packs. So we build a, a platform called Arc. Arc is an AI curation platform. It allows you to effectively build AI algorithms and publish them inside the packs. Then they run inside the packs inherently. The biggest difference, I would say, is the way we interface with those. You don't interface through text. You interface through a chatbot. So in other words, vo visual and voice command. We're trying to remove clicks. We're trying to remove typing. So for example, if you want to turn an AI algorithm on, you speak to Aerobot. Aerobot is the, the Siri or our packs, or the, hey Google, hey Alexa, or our packs. So you say to Aerobot, turn on, you know, spine labeling, and it turns it on automatically. You say, turn it off, it turns it off automatically. You don't have to go type it in, you don't have to have a drop down. So we're all about additional information and automation, you know, about optimization, getting, these physicians are being asked to do 10% more every year without the ability to do any gain inside of the software. I look at all these PAX companies that are around here today, traditionally, they've been around since I've been around, since 88. And we're, they're selling and doing the same thing. They still got a keyboard. When you change your channel and your TV, right, you don't do it through a keyboard, right? You don't change the channel this way. You talk to Alexa, you talk to Google. This is our answer. So, so, so ARC is the product. Arc is, the, Arc is the product for AI curation. Um, Ultima 9.0 is the, the receiver of the AI algorithms. And then we use AI-assisted reading and viewing inside the packs, no charge. Okay. So it, it, our goal is to commoditize and to democratize AI. That sounds great. And is this something that's commercially available right now? It is commercially available right now. We have several installs already that we can use as references, as proof points. And what sort of development plans do you have for this in 2024? So in 2024, we have a whole organization that actually is going to use a product that we sell to go build AI algorithms. The result that you see is about 10 algorithms that we're offering inside the packs today. No charge. We're going to probably, and that was built in about 30 days. So we're going to effectively go build algorithms all year. So I suspect next year by RSNA, we'd have 75 to 100 algorithms that we will be offering inside the packs. We're also taking that then to the next level. In other words, there's a service that we're calling VNAI. You have packs and you have VNA. Those two will never go away. There's purposes and reasons for them. We're now putting a service that connects the two that's driven by AI. 
that effectively say, take all of these AI algorithms and run them. Our algorithms that we generate as a container-based algorithm on a Docker platform or another vendor. You know, we'll, we'll take all these AI vendors, we'll take their container-based algorithms, load them on the enterprise platform, now you can run them in comparison. We're also thinking then about AI in itself. What do you do when you don't trust an opinion of a doctor? You go ask for a second opinion. Why can't you do it for AI? Not just one algorithm, but two, three, four, five algorithms. If they all concur, it probably is a, a positive result. So getting rid of some of that inefficiency, some of that distrust that the doctors have, and bringing that into, into reality. That's what we're doing today. Cool. Sounds fascinating. It is fantastic. I'm, I call it, I'm, I'm living my dream. Excellent. I wish we could all do that. Yeah. Well, Larry, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. Greatly appreciate it. And come see us. My pleasure. Uh, Larry Sitka with Paxera Health signing off for the Imaging Wire. My name is Brian Casey.